Good morning, Unnetwork. David here, and we are on top of San Diego, right downtown, but I'll come closer so you can actually see my face. All right, speaking tip of the day. We've been giving little tips out all week. Today's speaking tip is about the mistake you're about to make when you stumble across an opportunity or you meet somebody or you, you come across a website that shows you that maybe there's an opportunity for you to speak or it seems like a great fit for you. The mistake you're about to make is that you're gonna pitch yourself and you're gonna send an email. In most cases, if this is online, you're gonna send an email that maybe includes your one sheet if you have that. If you don't, don't worry about it that's gonna explain all about you and here's my bio and this is what I've done and I'd love to speak at your event and it's gonna be a couple of paragraphs long and what's gonna happen is it's gonna get ignored if it even gets read at all because all day long people who put on events and who actually look for speakers get pitched. So instead what you should do when you come across a potential speaking opportunity where there is not the case necessarily that you've stumbled across an application form or a process to apply and even in the same case, I would still do the same thing. All you have to do, good morning, Melody. All you have to do is send a quick, short, friendly, human, very brief email to an email that you find on, on, on the website or ask. If you're not sure if it's the right person, you send an email and you just say, hey, happy Friday. Uh, I stumbled across your website and I was wondering if you could tell me who the right person is or what the right process is to connect with your next opportunities uh, to be considered as a speaker. Or when is your next opportunity? When will you be looking for speakers for your next events? Who should I talk to? A sentence or two, very brief. Do not overdo it. Most people want to say, look, I'm, <coughs> excuse me, I do this, I do that. I recently just saw, recently, yesterday, I saw a woman who has a huge following is speaking on big, excuse me, big stages to like 15,000 people. And she's reaching out to people on Instagram DM. And all she says is, hey, um, if you loved this person who spoke at your conference last year, you should check me out. Because um, if you love her style, you'll probably love my style too. It would be an honor to speak at your next events. Who should I talk to? That's it right? Just a quick little reach out. Ask a question. Be human about it. Do not pitch yourself. Okay, so now you're not going to make that mistake. Now you can go online and find amazing speaking opportunities. And if you want some help finding speaking opportunities, Laura, the amazing Laura Peterson and I have come up with the speaker's secret gig list. I'm not going to pitch you big on this. I'm just saying that if you want us to do 20, 30, 40 hours of research for you and every month you get 25, 30 speaking engagements in your inbox that you can go and then send that quick email to. And a lot of them actually have applications already open so you can just apply. Drop a comment below. Let me know and I will um, hook you up with the website and you can check it out. It's like 30 bucks a month. It's not a big deal, but we do 20, 30, 40 hours of research for you and we deliver speaking engagements to your inbox. How cool is that? We'll save you all the time. And when you do get those speaking engagement opportunities, you don't pitch yourself. You're just going to send a friendly human email. All right. It's Friday. It's the long weekend. Make sure you go back and check all the other little speaking tips of the day. Some of them on the, are on the art of speaking and others are on the business of speaking. And let me know which ones you really loved and were really helpful for you this week. Here we are with one more view of the Coronado Bridge Ooh, right there, the Coronado Bridge. Coronado Island, uh, right over there, and beautiful downtown San Diego. Have an amazing Friday. Happy, happy, happy long weekend.